Tonight, an exclusive from the ABC 15 investigators. You're about to hear from the Arizona man whose traffic stop made national headlines. So you stopped me from my car person? Yes, sir. On his cell phone, Philip Colbert recorded how he was stopped by a deputy, ordered out of his car and questioned repeatedly, all because of an air freshener. He believes it was profiling and so do his attorneys. They tell him they are working to expose more about what happened and the deputy involved. Like I said, he stopped me. As he was. It's mid-morning, September 19th, and Phil Colbert doesn't know why he's been stopped. Morning, sir. How you doing, man? You got your leg insurance? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, any weapons in the car? Nope. Okay. Get it from my glove box? Yeah, please. Can I ask you why you stopped me? So you can't get your rear view mirror. So you stopped me from my car air freshener? Air freshener. The, the little tree. The uh, little my window. Yes, the air freshener. Colbert says the La Paz deputy had been following his silver Chrysler for a while. So I'm actually driving from work. I'm actually going to see my dad in Parker. So I work in Havasu um, to see my dad. And that's when it all happened. How long was for? About 10 to 15 minutes. And so you're just waiting, waiting for him to pull you over. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. So that's why you phone, because you know he's just waiting. Yep. Almost immediately, as Colbert reached humans, the deputy starts questioning him about drugs. Got my cards in there. Okay, any marijuana in the car? Nope. Okay. You smoke marijuana? It's again. And again, and again. Mr. Cobra, when's the last time you did smoke marijuana? I never smoked. I never? just said that. Okay. Unsatisfied, the deputy eventually tells him to step out. Mr. Cobra, you said there's no weapons in the car? Nope. Okay, do me a favor. Relax, man. You're still 10 and 2. It's just what I learned growing up. So my mom and dad always told me to keep it hands 10 and 2, stay as calm as If you don't mind, this is just... This is why I'm going to relax that. Okay. Can I have you hop out? I just have a couple more questions for you, and I want to speak to you man to man, so that way you're not doing this, and I'm leaned over. Okay. Can I take that fast in my seatbelt? Yeah, dude. When he stepped me out the car, then I was kind of weary about the situation where it was going. Out of the car, Tree. the deputy starts <laughs> of not being honest. Like I said, you're, you're showing me signs of deception. I'm going to be up front with you, man. If you got to join, I don't know. How many times do you think he asked you about the marijuana? Over 10 times. He's simply unwilling to believe him. So there's no marijuana or anything like that in the car? Any no about cocaine? No. no heroin? No. Okay. Um, did you have any objection to me searching your car, man? Yes. And why did Colbert object? Because I'm like, you know, maybe as soon as he checked the car, he's gonna try to put some in there. Maybe, you know, he's gonna try to say I failed. Um, you mind doing some field sobriety tests? Make sure you're okay to drive, man. Are you serious, yeah. man? This is crazy. Wow. So it's crazy. the reason I want to put you through sobriety tests is your mm -hmm. eyes kind of look a little bit glossy. Really? And some people just have that that glossiness. Okay. That's that's why we do these tests. Today. What's your name, man? Yeah, sorry, E Max. E Max, short for Eli Max. A deputy with six years experience already with his third department. And I have never heard of an officer pulling someone over for an air freshener. Do you think this is profiling? I think so. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Civil rights attorney Benjamin Taylor is one of the lawyers representing Colbert. They're considering a lawsuit. We're going to be looking at the officer's past, to seeing whether or not he has a history of doing this. The cell phone video does his questions. I ask everybody for every single time I stop. I, dude, I do this on every traffic stop. You take everybody out on every traffic stop. Yes, sir. This is me doing my job. I ask this question on every single traffic stop I do, and I'm not trying to treat you any differently than anybody else I've ever come across. So what do you want to see happen? So I basically just want the next guy to not have to deal with this. When I posted it, I explained to everybody this is not a vendetta. I'm not. I don't have all this hate in me. I'm mad because, you know, this is something that's a reoccurring issue. So I'm still standing here. During the stop, Colbert says after 10 minutes of questioning, the deputy made him wait another 10 to 15 minutes while he checked his information. Now he's doing whatever in his backseat. Finding nothing. In the end, the deputy finally sends him off with nothing but a warning. And this final thought. I am going to give you a warning today, okay? Um, but maybe in the future, just like I said, man, if you got to join, I don't Drive safe, all right? Peter Day Biscobing, ABC 